Okay, welcome back everybody to the Anchor of the Week where we have hard conversations, hear people's stories and challenge perspectives. My name is Zach. And I'm Courtney. And we are your hosts today. Yes, and we are so excited for today's episode. If you heard last week's episode, you'll kind of have a little teaser um, of what it's about. Yeah. But basically, we are in our series on tradition. Um, tradition as a whole, tradition uh, personally, yeah. societally, if you will. <laughs> I think that's my favorite word. It is, yeah. Anyway, but c- carry on. Moving on. Uh, but today we are looking specifically at generations. Yes. I know. It's, it's a great topic. I feel yeah. like we don't talk about it very much. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't feel like I sit down with my friends. Well, actually, no, that is a lie. This came up because I was sitting down talking with my friends about mm-hmm. this. So really, I just lied to everyone. Um, but it's not like the most common. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's good. There's a lot high. of good stuff. Yeah. The, 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 the main points that we kind of want to touch on um, today is kind of like what the generations above us valued and how that's almost shifted over time, as each generation has changed. Yeah. I feel like the values have changed as well. So we yeah. kind of want to look into that a little bit. Yeah. Because um, this, yeah. like, the idea of this, like, started because I was actually sitting in, like, my living room with some of my housemates. And yeah. we were just, I don't even know what we were talking about, like, at first. But we were just started to, like, kind of discuss, like, what we value, you know, mm. as young people. <laughs> I don't know. Youth. As the youth. youth. We're like millennial slash Gen Z slash, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's it's a blurry line, which is another thing. Yeah. Why can't we just have definitive years of when generations happen? Yeah. We will tell you why later, but that's <laughs> whatever. Uh, but we're talking about that. But then we start to like look at like what our parents valued and then what our grandparents valued. And it was just such an interesting to like take that step back and be yeah. like, oh wait, like these all connect. Like we yeah. are so just like narrow here. focus that it's yeah. like, it's just our generation or like my lifetime. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're excited to share this with you guys yeah. today and to unpack things a little bit. <clears throat> One thing we noticed, um, the values changed. It was very like, okay, if my generations above me valued this, it was almost like you valued like the opposite or like, like for the next generation. Like a generation. reaction. From yeah. It. Because of what they valued, which is so interesting. Um, Normally you think of tradition and you think kind of what's being passed down. It's Mm -hmm. constant. It's the same. You know, sure, like it shifts slightly, but the values are the same and they stay. But for this, we found like, actually, there's been a big shift in what we value. Yeah, Um, which is very interesting, right? Because you think of raising a family, you know, you want to pass down your values. Yeah. But there is almost like this cultural shift as well that happens at like, we can't control, you know, if I have kids, I can't control a cultural shift that's happening Mm -hmm. and how Mm -hmm. that will impact them as well. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Should we get into it a little bit? Yeah, we should. We we have a graph. We do have a graph. We have a graph. Um, This graph is a little bit. There's some, some decent stuff in there. There's some decent stuff. Yeah. The thing is, I don't know the year it was made because really it's putting us all at a lot younger than we should be. Yeah. Um, But Yeah. Basically, we'll be looking at specifically, if we will, kind of like us, which are like millennials, Gen Z, you know, yep. our parents who are more baby boomers, maybe Gen X, you know how old you are, but like, and then our great grandparents, or no, whoa, I just skipped a whole generation. Hey up, hey up. That's not what this is about. Our grandparents who yep. are more, I think, traditionalists, you know, that kind of era. Um, but yeah, go and take it away. Yeah. Cool. So. Um, something that we found, I mean, some of this was slightly off actually when we were reading it, but there were, I feel like a couple of good points. But I think it's, okay, side note, I'm going to interject my opinion yep. in this, of course. Um, like, like a certain aspect, like you can't fully, if it's a cultural shift that's happening, not all of that's quantifiable. Yeah. You can't say every single person, you know, or like. Sure, sure. If everyone in the world born, you know, when we were born is considered a millennial. We're all also going to have very vastly different experiences and value different things based on even where we are. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't even know where this chart came from. I'm assuming probably the States. Yeah. It, it looks like it. It looks like it. Oh, <laughs> from some of the comments. Yeah. American dream, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. But I guess, I mean, even just summarizing kind of briefly, the general gist was like, you know, our grandparents... I mean, again, depends on the age and stuff like that. During the war and very, like, there's loads of instability there. So then I think what happened was, like, our parents then or, valued, yeah. Yeah. St- like, stability then, right? Yeah. So job, work hard, and just pay the bills and have everything exactly. in order almost. Because, 
Yeah, right? Like, you think about, like, our grandparents, you know, again, age is a, a thing. So yeah. look at whoever in your life kind of fits this. But, like, if you grew up in instability and, like, you're, like, trying to always save a penny. Yeah. And I feel like it's almost like that, like, scarcity mindset. Yes, yes. So, like, our parents were like, okay, let's do whatever we can to okay. make sure that we never have to have a scarcity mindset. Yeah. That very extreme, sense. right? And then yeah. obviously the war, very extreme. So I think it's also important to remember, it's like not just what we value, but it's almost like they were taken to the extreme level, I feel like, of, you know, instability with the war. And then now stability, it's like over excessive, yeah. kind of paranoid almost. Yeah. Um, and now we're sat here like, <laughs> we want freedom and yeah. we don't want to be tied down to anything. Yeah. Because um, I mean, yeah. like a lot of people, you know, and I'll have this conversation with friends as well, like, we saw our parents, I mean, not actually my parents, they don't fit into this one, but generally speaking, like, yeah. we, you know, we had people that were in jobs for like 25 years, you know, just so they get the pension, just so that they were made sure that they were like set for retirement. Yeah. And it's that like idea of like, you'll kind of suffer through it yeah. if it means that you'll be okay at the end, you know, like right. if I can get my kids into a good college, like I will work the extra job or the extra whatever. And of course, these are things that aren't like, exclusive to certain generations mm -hmm. but it's that idea of like i can't think of anyone my age that would be like yeah i will suffer through a job i hate that's just like stable and well-paying for 30 plus years just so i know i can retire at 65 and yeah like, and we i've never heard that from anyone my no, age no um so it's really interesting mm. yeah yeah i think it's interesting as well I, you know as this changes it's, it's, it's kind of like I don't know where you stand exactly, mm -hmm. but it's like, are these bad changes that are happening as we see extremes and we want to mm. go completely against it? Like, are these things, obviously we should be questioning, but also yeah. like, I don't know if all of it is completely bad, isn't it? I feel like we're going to go back to the balance <sighs> idea of- Always and forever. Of life. Always <laughs> and forever. It's yeah. the hardest place to stand, the balance, which is why no one really likes to do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely think like we react- like out of kind of being like, I saw what my parents are missing and I don't want to miss out on that. You know what I mean? Or whoever, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, yeah. Um, Cause again, you look at us, you know, like our generation, if you will. And it's more like, it's follow your dream. What's your passion? Like, mm -hmm. why are there so many startups for millennials? You know, all these like entrepreneurs, like it's awesome. Yeah. But it's this whole idea of like, I will not be tied down to something mm -hmm. that does not bring me joy or fulfillment. And it's like that looking for fulfillment. And yeah. Like, right, right. This whole thing of like, I will travel, I'll spend my money on traveling instead of saving everything to buy a house, you yeah. know, which is its whole thing in and of yeah, itself, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like we value different things and I think that's very okay, mm -hmm. you know, because we don't want to feel like we're trapped, which yeah. is a great thing to not feel. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I was having a conversation actually with producer Lucas behind this yeah He's just literally sitting right yeah. behind you <laughs> um but i remember having a conversation about kind of like why we are the way we are almost and i don't know if he remembers this one at all we're in the car but but <laughs> we, he does, i don't think he remembers at this no, moment we'll but see. we were talking about kind of like it's almost like you when you're when you're a kid and when you're growing up you kind of see what is needed in mm. your family and you kind of like draw yourself towards that almost and it's kind of like so for example if my parents were very paranoid in terms of like living then you're going to draw a bit more on the time like okay let's remember to have fun let's remember to have freedom yeah. like you'll you'll draw to that because that's what you see is needed in yeah. your family you see the lack yeah so it's super interesting how i think that's the same for these generational values that's shifted because you see what's lacking and you go okay we yeah. need to fill this up and then obviously sometimes you can go to the extreme side of it and that's the only thing you value. Yeah, and there's no stability <laughs> yeah, anywhere ever. Yeah, yeah. Like, Literally. Yeah. Which, yeah, it's not good. Yeah. But I think that is a really good point. Like when you see the lack and then like that's what motivates Move us, right? It. Because we always want what we don't have. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. We do. Yeah. And I think uh, something that I'm even just thinking about now is like Gen Z, for example, right? Like, um, again, like a lot of times, like, you, I don't know. They're still so young, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. That, like, you can almost, like, lump them in with millennials or, like, okay, like, this is, like, the things that they value is, like, very similar to us or, like, you know, people in their, like, 20s, 30s. Yeah. Um, but they have, like, this, like, super passionate, like, social justice kind of thing, right? Like, yeah. let's fight. Let's make sure everyone's voice is heard. Mm -hmm. Let's be woke. Let's, you know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. this kind of aspect of, like, looking beyond yourself. Mm. 
which I'm always thinking like that is so interesting to me because they're so young, but they're so involved in social justice, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, but I wonder, and this is literally me just thinking about this. Yeah. Is this a reaction from us trying to find fulfillment? Right. Because that's a very self-serving thing. You know, I mm. want to travel. I want to feel fulfilled. I want to make my dreams come true. Yeah. That Then it's almost now like a different culture, cultural shift where these young people are saying like, okay, yeah. But like, what about the people that like don't have that opportunity? Yeah. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah, that is so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. What's your idea of the idea of the thought? <laughs> What's your idea of the idea? What's your idea of the thought of like, you know, do you think... <sighs> I don't know. It's almost like when a value becomes an expectation. Mm. Do you think that's good or bad? Because for me, I'm I'm kind of like, I think it's good to make your own choices and stuff. Yeah. And it's it's for you to make those choices, right? Yeah. But when it's expected of you to have to be stable, you know, you need to be this way kind of thing. I think that also maybe pushes people away from the idea of actually sticking with that value yeah. because it's an expectation. Well, I think when a value becomes an expectation, you've lost the heart of the value. Yeah. Because then you're no longer passing down a value. You're passing an expectation. Yeah, right. Right? And so if I'm expected to do something, I will exactly. not learn how to value it because yeah. I don't feel like it's... So it's not value It's anymore. not value anymore. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's a tradition. It's a tradition. Oh, go back to the last episode. <laughs> go back to the last episode. And this is a bad example of a tradition. Yeah, this I is what say. tradition should not be. Yeah. yeah. An expectation. Oh, Yeah. Let's go back and put it in the last episode. Let's do a little. Um, but yeah, and I think we talked values last episode as well. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize that we would have such a heavy like, <laughs> view on that. You know what I mean? Like I didn't realize yeah. that would actually be such a big thing, but it's really cool that it's, yeah, that it's something that is so big. Yeah. Like yeah. if you want something to be passed down, like you pass down the value. Mm -hmm. Why do you value it? Why do you actually value stability? Yeah. And if it has become routine or almost an expectation you've put on yourself. You know, then yeah, you should look at that. Yeah. Why do I value fulfillment mm. and like following your passions, you know, yeah. and like loving what you do? The whole like do what you love, love what you do. Yeah. That's something our like parents never said. No, no, no. Right? Yeah. yeah. But why are we doing that? Yeah. Am I going to expect someone else? You have to love what you do because mm. if you don't, then, it, you know. Yeah. What if they don't love what they do? Yeah, for sure. And I think also, you know, again, just... Is this the devil's advocate? Is that the right way to phrase this? Yeah. Just like looking on both ends. But, yeah. you know, it's also like, okay, like, am I changing my values just based off of a reaction? You know, yeah. what if I do actually value stability, but I've just had such an extreme side of it, yeah. such an unhealthy version of it yeah. that it's really pushed me away from like, okay, this is not actually what I want. But yeah. actually, this is what we need, you know, like mm -hmm. stability is just an example, but... Um, yeah. I also think we can't make decisions and can't base future values, whatever, off of a reaction of that as well. Yeah. You know, we need to kind of, it's almost like you need to strip back the layers and actually, like, I don't know, work on the foundations first yeah. and then you can start building on that. Well, it goes in line with like a reaction is a feeling, right? Yeah. So like we don't make decisions based on our feelings. You know, yeah, we don't emotions, yeah. rid tradition because we don't feel like doing it. Like we had talked about that last week. Um, but yeah, like I think a reaction should like it's a good instigator to yeah. like change things. Yeah. But a lot of times, again, when you react against something, you devalue the other thing. Right. Because that is also something that like, mm -hmm. I wonder if we actually give value. Like we're so easy to look and judge and be critical. Yeah. You know, like our parents stayed in jobs they hated. Like that was awful. Yeah. You know, or our grandparents like lived in, with fear. You know, the war mm. was over. Like, yeah. what are you doing? You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. you're not in a lack anymore. Yeah. What, why are you doing this? Yeah. Exactly. But like, do we actually go back in value, you know? Mm. So really it's based off of fear, I guess. I think a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. Genuinely. I think it's a fear of being on the end of mm -hmm. like fear of instability or yeah. fear of lack of freedom, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Super interesting. So how do we go about kind of, you know, making these decisions then, mm. I, you know, like we always like to try and make it a bit more practical or at least question how we can move forward in these things. How do we make a good decision? H how do we, how do we <laughs> see a value and be like, okay, I see this, but yeah. I need to like come at this from a better, but like you're angle. talking like looking at the, like where we're coming from. Yeah. Like generations before. Like, let's us. not react. Yeah. How do we move forward without reacting? Well, you I know? think you have to give value mm. to what they valued. Even if you don't necessarily agree with it or you see how it doesn't like fit in with the time that you're in now, 
you know understanding I mean? where they come from almost. Yeah. Yeah. And like understanding that if they weren't there, if they didn't value what they valued, we would not be here. <clears throat> yeah. Able to value what we value. Yeah. Right? Because if they yeah, yeah, stayed yeah. with that scarcity <clears throat> mindset, we would be the ones maybe that were like, oh, we need stability. Right. Like, yeah. right? Like the yeah, only reason yeah. that we have our values now is because of the values that were passed down. You know, yeah. or that were decided or the cultural, sh cultural shifts that happened. Yeah. So, and I, you know, we see it a lot, like the whole like, okay, boomer, like <laughs> thing. I get cool that all the time. Yeah. It's Rudy. I do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Really? That's all I'm going to say. Try and help me out a bit. But anyway. <laughs> no, you fit into the category <laughs> with everything uh, except for the age. Um, but it is that <laughs> idea of like, we just like so easily disregard because it just doesn't fit for now. Yeah. And like, yeah, we can talk about the traditions, but when it comes to generations, like you have to realize that like that's people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, sensitive. It's sensitive. Yeah. Like these are what people valued. Yeah. And like, it's just the, the way that we grew up in, because it's easy for tradition to say like, oh, that's something that we've built around. You know, it yeah, is like right, a, right. an outward thing. But when you look at what generations value, like that's a deep personal thing. Yeah. And so I think we need to remember that like they valued what they valued for a reason, mm -hmm. you know, like, wow, my parents wanted to stay in a job that they didn't like for, for forever yeah. because they wanted to make sure that they didn't, like I didn't have to live. Right. Yeah. And at, you know, when you see it in that way, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. less of like an emotional reaction, mm. you know, or like yeah. their parents, like how yeah, you just see it. Yeah. yeah. I think you have to have understanding. Yeah, you do. And like, we're talking about generational value, but also like, so we, we tie tradition with this and it's like, so when I think of it like this, I think, okay, Traditions was based off of what they valued in the past, right? So when that gets passed down, as the values change, obviously people are a lot more inclined to be like, hold up, this is not yeah. what we value anymore. Is, yeah. So we need to get rid of this. There must be some good values passed down, right? It's not all yeah. just, oh, my parents were in war, they had lack of stability, you know, they, so now they're only lacking, uh, I don't know, tradition and, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just very like, surely it's not, all bad, right? All traditions that's been passed down. Like they must have some values from back then that we still hold true to now, right? I mean, there must Th be. There must I be, hope. right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, which is, I'm just, uh, this is me just processing out yeah. loud as you can see, but it's very like, I don't know. I, I wonder if, them, <laughs> I don't know, there must be. I'm trying to think of some, yeah. but I, but I okay, know. for example, the stability of our parents, you know what I mean? Like, if we just go completely <clears throat> off the deep end and we're super unstable, super financially irresponsible, like that's also not good. How do we yeah, yeah. have a certain sense of that stability mm -hmm. where we're not just constantly like freaking out all the time, not knowing where our next meal is going to come from, you know, but are able to find fulfillment in what we do. Mm. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going back to tradition because... Well, it's good because we're on the tradition series. We are. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I just, I guess I, I'm a lot more like, well, if they valued that and they create a tradition based off of that, and then you move on to this next generation, like that, that changes completely, mm -hmm. doesn't it? So just making me question a bit. Yeah. These traditions, huh? Okay. <laughs> but then, but then we create new traditions based off of the values that we have today. Yeah. And that's just going to change. Well, here's the thing. Okay. So we're talking like the generations of the past. But what are we passing on to the next generation? Yeah. Right? Like right. we kind of talked about that. Like maybe our search for personal fulfillment actually created like a gap where we didn't really care about other people. Yeah. So like I feel like we need to like watch ourselves before we're so quick to judge the yeah. past. Yeah. Because, hey, we're actually – we're missing things too because there's no way we're going to get it perfectly right. Yeah. But we are creating a lack that right. the next generation mm -hmm. is going to – yeah, exactly. React to. Yeah. So, like, I think it's that you have to have that forward thinking, like, hey, we all leave a legacy. Mm. You know, we could talk about that. It's almost like so, like, almost like romanticized, like my personal well, legacy. To be honest with you, we do, though. We, we do. Yeah. And as, like, a generation, as a culture, we also leave a legacy. Yeah. People will remember us, you know, by our avocado toast and our inability to buy a home. <laughs> but, like, there's more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. will they remember us by... Mm -hmm our indifference to others, our yeah. individualistic, because I feel like that's come up a lot as well in yeah. the past episodes. Yeah. Like, will they notice just for looking out for ourselves? Yeah. I don't want that. Yeah, for sure. What are we going to do about that? For sure, yeah. I guess, yeah, we just, we've got to find traditions that are like, I don't know, constant values, you know? There yeah. are things that 
my grand, you know, I don't know. I guess there's just certain things in life that are just like pillars that we just stick to, you know? Mm. And like the va- the generation values is very reactional. Like it's shaped off of reaction. Yeah. So it's like we almost have to try and create and like think critically and like come there up. Is. There it is. It's all, it always comes up. And like come up with those like actual, actual like real constant values that mm. that aren't aren't changeable you know so that when we as a generation and the next generation has come yeah like when we see the lack yeah we can fill that lack you know or we can still react to it you know or maybe respond yeah is respond a better word a much better word right yeah. yeah we will respond to that lack but we still have that like that streamline yeah yeah okay but this is like you know we don't need to go full off into the deep end mm-hmm Right, yeah. because we understand that we are here because we went before us, and there yeah. are people coming after us. Yeah, yeah, and that's where tradition is healthy. <laughs> there we go. And oh, guys, we found it. We found it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Serious ends right now. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's also unhealthy when it's based off of the generational values. I feel like. Yeah. Because it's just swayed, you know. And again, like you can't control what a whole generation experiences. You know, yeah. there are things that happen in politics, for example, like war. Yeah. You know, or technology. Like, we cannot blame the millennials, for example, or no, I think it would be more of like maybe Gen Z because mm-hmm. they grew up with like complete technology. We yeah. can't blame them for being so engrossed yeah, in technology yeah. because that is the culture that they for were born sure. into. Yeah. That is just what their generation knows. Mm-hmm. And so I don't remember exactly where I was going with this point, if no, I'm no. not going to lie. It's a great point because yeah. I think then, because I think it's easy to be like, oh, we don't value that anymore. So we just brush this aside. But it's 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 kind of like hearing them out a little bit and it's being yeah. a bit more like... Okay, like understanding h- how they got to this point, you know? Yeah. It's not just they're bad people who made bad decisions. Like, no. it's not always the case, you know? So, no. I think that's really a good point, actually. And, like, let's value the individuals as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And when we have, like, the, the way of thinking, like, the forward thinking that, like, okay, life is not about me. There yeah. were people on this planet before me, and there'll be people on this planet after me. Yeah. It gives us more of that that look to almost like bridge the generations. Yeah, Cause yeah. I think, I mean, I am so like guilty of this, but like we get caught up, obviously we get caught up in our own experience. So we just kind of burn bridges to all other generations. Yeah. Younger kids are so spoiled. The older guys don't get it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're stuck in their ways. Yeah. But how do we also build bridges between generations instead right. of having these segmented? Yeah. Maybe that's one of the things that annoys me about these lists. You know what I mean? I love a good chart. I really yeah. do. <laughs> but like it has, the generations clearly defined, mm. distinct, you know, this is Separated. what you valued, this yeah. is what you valued. But yeah. it's like, wait, how do we like literally bridge the generations? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's so good. So good. We got to value people. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> and just as we're wrapping up as well, just I guess things to think about, you know, like how are we multiplying what we have and yeah. like, what are we multiplying? You know, I think that's the big question mm-hmm. here because it's, it has an effect you know, yeah. like it or not, it's not you're just leaving your kids. a legacy. Yeah, it's it's not just your kids. It's your friends, it's yeah. your family. It's, you know, what am I multiplying? What am I giving off yeah. to the people around me? Um, and it's like, yeah, I think you just got to be thinking about that a little bit. Um, yeah. Any other little points from yourself? Yeah, no, I think just having that awareness, like you will not, like you would not be here today if it wasn't for the generations that were before you. Yeah. So like have a sense of honor to that, yeah. even if you don't agree with the way that they lived. Yeah. It's kind of like they were doing their best. You know what I mean? And as well, like, what are you leaving for the next generation? Yeah. How are we setting the stage for them? Mm. Like, we need to set the stage for them to thrive. You know, instead yeah. of being so obsessed or so focused on how how am I going to live? How am I going to... Surviving. F- surviving. Yeah, sustaining. Will I feel, f- like, whatever. fulfilled? Will I feel like I've gotten what I wanted out of life? Yeah, yeah. But also, how am I setting the stage? So maybe the next generation doesn't have to actually, like, react so strongly. You know, like, do we actually want to do things that cause reactions? Yeah. You know? But yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's good. It's a good point. Team, this is us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what a good chat. And I think these are things we should be talking about and thinking about. So yeah. it's good. Good to have these conversations. Yes. But yes, course. we're going to wrap up, team. Um, you can find us on uh, YouTube, all podcast platforms, TikTok, Instagram, at The Anchor of the Week. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. At and the Anchor of the Week. At the Anchor of the Week, yes. Where we Why attack we? topics, oh, yes. not people. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Attacking topics, not people, yes. Yes, and um, we will see you soon. Maybe not from England. Oh. Stay tuned. Hey, yes. Got some pretty exciting things coming up. do do do